I said, the town in question is southwest from here. So all you gotta do is follow the setting sun, right? Reynold, I can't believe you got us even this far. Do you know the planet's axis of rotation or latitude or that sort of thing? Please stop mocking me. The planet's axis of rotation is 32.6 degrees. Our latitude is 30.4 degrees south. I have that much memorized. Excuse me. Oh, really? Okay, then let me ask you this. In which direction does the sun rise in this season and at this location? What? Was I wrong? Uh, <laughs> I was just kidding. It was a joke. I know it really rises in the West, right? What's wrong? What are you arguing about? Uh, a country bumpkin. Huh? Bumpkin? Don't sweat the details. I said you're a local. A local! Perfect timing. Let's ask him. A country bumpkin should know his way around. Uh, yes. Let us do that. Okay, it's decided. Here's the thing. We want to go to the town Pearlside, but we really don't know our way around this area. That's why we want to ask a... <laughs> er... <laughs> local like you. Got it? I got that much. The thing is, I don't know this area very well either. Don't worry about it. You gotta know a lot more about this area than we do. It's all relative, you know? So anyway, what I want to ask you is, which way is it to Curlsaw? Which gate should we leave by? Curlsaw. It's south. Didn't you know that? Ha! Huh, listen to that. It's just like I said. Sheesh. If I left it up to you, we'd be in really serious trouble. Huh? That's strange. I wonder where we went wrong. You really want to know? We went wrong when I let you be our guide, that's when. Wrong! Wrong! I said wrong! We have to leave from the southwest gate here. If we go out the north gate, we'll just head off into the middle of nowhere. Um, no, that's not right. The map does say that this village is farther to the southwest. But if you consider the shape of the tree stumps we saw on the way here, I think it proves that the directions on the map are a bit off. Did you know? If you check the rings on a tree stump, you can pretty much tell the direction. The wider the ring, the more to the south. That's why we have to leave here from the northwest gate. Are you sure that trick works in this area, too? What's the angle of the planet's rotation? What type of tree? Does it work in the southern hemisphere, too? Are you 100% sure about this? Maybe. Hmm, I wonder. I really wonder about you. My merchant's instincts are telling me there's no way I should trust you when it comes to maps and directions. They really are. You know, no matter how bad the map is, we were able to get as far as this town on the way. How badly were the directions messed up so far? Not at all, right? All we have to worry about right now is not how to get to Curlsaw from our starting point, but rather how to get to Curlsaw from this town. Isn't that right? Well, yes. Um, but still... Ugh! Enough already! We can't afford to waste any more time here. Let's decide quickly. We'll just pick someone, anyone, and ask for directions one more time. And of course, we will not worry about whether or not the directions we get are correct. No ifs, ands, or buts. How about that idea? Works for me. Let's do it. All right then. Okay. Now we just have to decide who to ask. You! 
Yeah, I'm talking to you. That's right. Wipe that silly look off your face and get over here. What the? You're the same gentleman we met in Paterni, aren't you? What? Ah, oh, yeah! Well, then this will work just fine. Let's have this guy decide which way we should go one more time. That'll save the time of explaining it all over again. Sounds good. Let's do it that way. So you see, we still need directions. Please tell us one more time how to get to Curl Saw. Sorry for the hassle, but could you please tell us one more time? Oh, man. Which way should I tell them to go? Easiest way is through the southwest gate. Well, unless someone's chasing you, that is. Miss Romina, don't get so close to the fire or you'll regret it later. Keep a good distance there. That's easy for you to say. I'm cold. If I have to freeze to death like this, then I can't wait until I'm dead already. Oh dear. It's not good for the body to get cold and then hot again so fast like that. I used to live in snowbound mountains, you know. So I'm just a little more used to the cold wind of these snowfields than you are. That's all. A little? So you say this is just something I need to get used to? Uh, yes, to an extent. Compared to back then, this is actually not so bad. Hmm, you sure don't look like you've experienced half as much as you say you have. Hey, it's you. So we meet again. You again? This can't be just a coincidence. Hey, you aren't just following us around, are you? I'd have to know where you were really trying to go before I could start following you. I thought you said you wanted to go to Curlsaw. No, no, we don't really have any particular destination. We're just wandering around. It's not like we're hiding our destination. Actually, that'd almost be better. We're not really proud about it, you know. Huh. It looks like they're really just lost. Maybe these two are just not cut out for life on the road. You already passed Curlsaw. You should head back. You're kidding! You can think what you want, but why would I want to lie to you in a situation like this? Well... You're kidding, right? I guess not. Hey, Ruddle! Didn't you say that we'd never get lost again now that you bought a compass? So then why are we in totally the wrong place again? What were you looking at? Yes, isn't that weird? I looked at the compass and walked in the direction on the map. You know, I bet the magnetism's different here. The compass has been pointing straight up for a long time, and I thought that was odd. 